Accessing library computer data. Hello and welcome to Captain's Dry Dog. In this episode, I'll be showing you a lesson I learned after blowing up not only an Arduino Nano, but also my very own custom circuit board on two separate occasions during this build. So now, a good wiring discipline is what I consider to be the most important part of adding lights and sound effects to a model or prop, especially afterwards when you put it all together. Wire. Your choice of wire at the start will dictate how easy and enjoyable your project will be later. Size matters. Even though I thought 1mm wire would be thin enough, it wasn't until I started wiring that I found out it took up a lot of space. It was difficult to form, it blocked light to some of my windows, and I had to make gaps and holes larger to accommodate for it. So I moved to the much thinner 0.25mm wire, which made things tidier, clearer and I found an absolute pleasure to work with. With most builds there will be two wires that are connected to a component such as an LED, speaker or light strip. Le needless to say the positive and negative wires should be different colours so you can easily identify them. If you have a common type of colour blindness though, order high contrast and tones such as black and white. Top tip in my build, I found it useful to use different coloured wire pairs to immediately identify which pairs of wires connected to what component without having to follow where they led to. This helps to identify where fault might be, connecting it all together, and of course it makes it look pretty even though you won't see it once the model's all put together. Here you can see I've got blue and green wires for the saucer section LEDs, black and white for the warp LED strips, and red and black for the engineering section. Heat shrink. This is where I needed to get into the discipline of pairing wire together. The way I do it is slowly twisting the wire together. Not too tight, but just enough. To help stop it from unraveling, I invested in heat shrink. This is amazing and a must for your electrical toolbox. These rubber looking tubes of various diameters are used to insulate wire. This prevents exposed wires touching and shorting out, but I, uh, but I also found it really useful to keep wire paired together by using slightly larger tubing. Okay, so you're probably wondering how on earth did I blow up two circuit boards? Well, let's start with the Nano. So the Nano, that was all wired up. It was working perfectly. Uh, however, I actually placed this on top of some wires in the saucer section just to rest, and then suddenly, everything stopped working. There was no smoke, there was no sound, just everything stopped. It took me around about two hours to isolate what went wrong and it was just through trial and error. Luckily, and I say luckily, it was just a Nano. They're pretty cheap and easy to replace but there was no indication that there was something wrong with this. So that was an easy fix but that was a lot of stress I did not need. The most stressful one was this one. This is my custom circuit board. And as you can see, it's got little transistors and res uh, resistors in there. And uh, so just when I was putting all the model together, just as a dry run to see everything was gonna fit, suddenly, as it was working, it stopped working. With the sound of a pop, the smell of smoke, and I actually saw smoke coming from a transistor from this board. Anyway, I had to replace this as well. So all that stress for nothing. It turned out it was another exposed wire that made the connection to the transistor completely shorten it out. Essentially 12 volts went for this uh, transistor that can't handle 12 volts. So now, electrical tape. Only a couple of quid, well worth it. And I make sure I back all these boards with an electrical tape. Easy peasy, you live and learn. Connectors. On this complicated build, I didn't want to solder every component together, as I wanted it to be easy when I constructed the model later and for testing parts of the circuit as I progressed. So if something went wrong, I could just unplug and swap out a component. These are inexpensive pin connectors that come in rows of male and female. To cut a pair from the female connector row, just pull out the third pin so that housing is empty. 
and then cut the empty housing with wire cutters to leave you with your connector. This you can clean up with a blade or file. The male connectors are much easier, just cut in between the pins like so. Soldering. Now it's a case of just soldering, basically just sticking the wires together. I use a wire wrapping tool that wraps the wire around the pin where I need to solder. I've included the link to the tool in the comments below. Now you don't have to do this if you're going to solder wires together, but personally I like the belt and braces approach of doing both. The earwax looking stuff I'm applying with the toothpicks is called flux, which makes the solder flow onto the terminals easily when you apply heat. Once done, I slip over the appropriate size heat shrink, remembering to sleeve the heat shrink onto the wire before soldering the connector, or I'm not going to get it on later. Then the magic happens. I'm applying the heat evenly while making sure the soldering iron isn't touching anything. Slowly, it will shrink tightly around the wire, sealing and protecting the exposed terminal. Although I'm using connectors, this method is exactly how I've connected all my LEDs up in this model and is very satisfying to look at knowing it's not going to short out once I glue the model together. And there you have it, tidy working wiring that is super easy to put together and before you ask, no, these connectors are tight, there's no chance of them accidentally unplugging after gluing the model together. For the master connection between the stand and the enterprise, I'm going to use something called a DIM plug, which are mainly used for audio equipment. But I found these to be ideal for this type of project where I have five wires going into the model and I require multiple connections in one plug. This will make it easier to take the model on and off the stand for storage. Hi there, so if you're still watching and are still awake, Thank you so much. A video about why it is really hard to make entertaining, but I hope you found it informative so to avoid the soul destroying feeling I went through twice during this build. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me personally or leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you want to see more of these videos, please show your support with a like and if you think this channel might be useful for you and your project and you want to automatically get notified with the newest uploads all you have to do is click the subscribe button it's either there or there so take care and remember in the words of captain picard it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose that is not weakness that is life anyway take care everyone accessing library computer data